So why don't we jump over to the demo here. So there is something else new that you'll notice uh, once we switch over to gameplay. Um, and that is that we have kind of a new UI that is in the works. Right now we kind of have like a mix of old and new as we're, as we're moving everything over. Um, but I really like how new and clean and sexy the new UI is. I, I have such a like work crush on our art team. Like we have so many super talented artists and Mary and Mike who have been sort of on the front lines of all of our um, you know, shell and UI, uh, you know, they, they've been pouring so much talent and energy into a, a streamlined approach. You know, it's, and that's not just a like reskin. We've sort of reorganized the way the, the menus sort of um, cascade and kind of fit um, so that, you know, it's, it's kind of fewer buttons from front to game and, and then everything is, is kind of clean. Um, you know, it's, it's actually been a, a pretty comprehensive overhaul of the front end, which um, to me adds a lot to the experience. You know, the, the game just, it, it looks better and is, it feels fresher. Yeah. Um, and just to be clear, that along with music library enhancements, um, that'll be coming out in October alongside Rivals, and everybody who has Rock Band 4 will get those. Um, so do you want to kind of set up this demo? Sure. So what we're playing is actually the first gig of Rocky Drama. So this is kind of the origin story of our fake band here. Um, no Tilt offense. and the Deployers. Well, excuse me. Of our um, of our band here. Uh, so um, they're gonna they're gonna basically you're, you're gonna get the intro to the um, beneath the tunage TV show. And then that's that'll goofy be at all. that'll be followed by a short video clip that establishes their first set um, and kind of talks about how they all met each other and uh, you know a little bit of the backstory. And then they'll play some songs, and the songs will have uh, voiceover in between, kind of along the lines that I described before. And then uh, they'll get their results, and there will be a, a little recap video. Um, and then that would that would represent kind of the first chunk of a story that involves a lot of really cheap humor and like, you know, it. I have to give tons of credit to Helen McWilliams who sort of has seen this in her brain for years really and, you know, and, and was kind of a driving creative force behind the sort of, you know, just the structural idea here, the, the, the narrative storytelling tools and it, it, it also I think really represents her um, sense of humor in a right. way that, uh, you know, I, I don't know how many people know this, but but Helen has basically been writing for Rock Band since Rock Band 1, so like in, in a lot of ways she does sort of represent the, the voice of Rock Band. Um, a lot of the sort of character descriptions and asset descriptions, she, she wrote a lot of that stuff, and I think this sort of is sort of pushing that, that tone into, um, there's, there, there are there are more poop jokes in this mode than I think we've ever shipped in a in a video game ever before. Shipped, shipped. Okay. Get your Just find <laughs> out of the gutter, Josh. Jeez. Uh, T for teen. Hey, you could say that in T for teen. Um, so, uh, jumping in. Do you guys want to get started? Sure. So you can see that like there are different parts, and these are kind of split up into different shows. Right. And each show is sort of represents a, a, a different kind of storyline and sort of, you know, there, there's, there's, a, there's a, we have new venues that support all of this stuff. So you'll see this first venue uh, in the early days. Just What's that up at the top? Docudrama. No, 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 I'm not. Meter? <laughs> yeah. That is a meter. They're found in many video games. They communicate your progress. Um, and, you know, I guess the other, uh, sort of area of um, sort of variety and replayability is, you know, in the same way that the narrator is sort of calling out, you know, specific performances, uh, the storyline deviates depending on whether you're, like, amazing and you're just, like, blasting through and five stars and gold stars and everything, or whether you're, like, kind of struggling through. And, and a lot of that writing is, is, is really good. You know, it's, it's a funny thing. I'm like, 
no, you should you should play like you suck because it's really funny and <laughs> like that's kind of a it's, it's anyway. But so that's what that meter represents. Yeah, and that meter is filled up by fame, which we talked about in the which we showed in the trailer. Right, so fame yeah. is basically the currency. You know, you get fame for every star that you get as a band, and then depending on how much fame you have, different things happen. Right. Okay. Why don't we move forward here? So the other thing that I like on the next screen, I think it's the next screen, is, uh, or, or maybe this no, is just the video. going to show the intro video. All right, video. cool, cool. Yeah. We're still making this game. I know, that is some good-looking yeah, hair. Yeah, this is under development. My lawyer reminded me like a hundred times in development, whatever. <laughs> we are under development. October 8th, 1989. The band forms in high school biology class during a particularly boring lesson. I was trying to teach those kids something useful, but they were busy yapping about making a band. You got to focus, I told them, else you're gonna wind up working at the poop factory over on 6th Street. They didn't listen. I was in that class that day, totally. They were like, oh, let's start a band. I'm like, cool, can I be in it? They're like, God, Terry, no, shut up. It was awesome. March 17th, 1990. Having practiced for a total of 33 minutes, the band was ready to play their first ever show at Bud F. Bonkazoids, a local amusement center for kids and incredibly uncool teens. But could the fledgling band draw a crowd? So, in fact, that was the origin story of the band. We did not play the sort of the show intro, which is fine. Um, but so now they'll they'll choose their difficulty, and then they will vote on their set, which is functionality that we introduced last year as part of shows mode, which. Um, you know, is it's kind of a game changer for me. It's it's a a way to kind of like both sort of tweak some of the social dynamic stuff that I talked about before where like you know hey Renzo may want to play one song Rachel may want to play another song and then you know everybody's sort of like okay well which side of the fence do we come in on and then uh, the game sort of ripples through the options and either Renzo or Rachel will win but there can be only one uh, and, and that kind of dynamic is fun it also sort of takes you out of some of the paralysis of like scrolling through a like ginormous list of songs. Even if they're all great songs, you know, sometimes it can just be tedious. So I like the idea that we just sort of throw up a short list, get you guys to vote, and then kind of play through, play through. Um, I, I'd also add that all of your DLC is incorporated into the sort of the, the voting criteria. So you will get to play songs that, um, <laughs> that you have played before. So you do hear something kind of different in this show. Right. The the songs would be different songs. Oh, I mean a single person clapping. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> right. I don't know how many people caught that. Uh, well, actually, I don't want to spoil it. Okay. So this is Fever by the Black Keys, which is, uh, this was on the, on the disc, I believe. Yeah, we didn't load a ton of DLC on this for the demo. We do have all of our DLC for anybody that is... <laughs> Oh, so this is a true Wheel of Fortune and The Warrior by Scandal. All right, so we have two Rock Band 4 disc songs. I like it. Oh, look at that. go. So now they play. Nope. Nope. Wow. So here you get your results screen. Yeah. So you see the uh, very clearly temporary part <laughs> where it says temp earned 150 XP. Um, and so that's just talking about rivals. So that's going towards your um, your rival score, uh, which you can also see at the bottom um, on the, who is that? That's the vocalist, so you can see that. Right, that um, little blue. Yeah, the circle scenarios. around number one, just right. kind of showing that Christine is on her way to leveling up. Two HMX Demo 01. And that's the, that, she's the only one who's logged in.
which is why she's the only one who's getting any of that stuff. Yeah. Do we want to jump over to? I think yeah. Yeah. Let's see I what think the Cool Terry wants to, to see what's next. The members, er, member of the audience was impressed. But for how long? The drummer's commanding performance yeah, had Renzo. the crowd in tears, weeping like a bunch of really sad babies. Uh. So far you are to getting a, a gold star score, right. which is awesome. Before we talk about anything else, I just want to tell uh, Dennis, who is running the board for us right now, that we have had multiple people request Meow Mode, <laughs> which is his creation to anybody that saw our... He loves Bulls cats. Joke. <laughs> yeah, he just got two, and they're really adorable. Cats, um, cats suck. Excuse <laughs> me. Them's fighting words. Wow. I know you have to go in a couple minutes. But like, yeah, no, I'm going to I'm going to get I'm going to I'm going to chased off the stage. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to call out just from the, the chat is, Christine, you're getting a lot of love from the Internet on your vocal abilities. So nice work out there. She hosts karaoke every I think week, you can right? tell almost every week. Yeah, that's OK. She said almost every week and then did a little dance. OK, uh, let's jump into the final song of the set the show the gig so we'll tighten all these load times up obviously with their one fan whipped up into a sweaty out of breath frenzy the band was ready to take it home no one could take their eyes off the incredible bass player whose Woo! performance was tantamount to genius <laughs> tantamount to genius it's okay <laughs> So we are we're playing this with a full band, but I think you know one important note here is that you can play this through with you know two people, three people, or one person, and that's true for I mean if you want to be in a crew with only one person, it's a lonely crew, but you can still play Rivals um, without kind of a, a full crew, and and you know I, I also would submit that anybody watching the stream can find ten people on the internet to join a crew with them. It's really not that hard. I mean, Rivals, since it's all asynchronous, you don't even have to like them. You don't even have to know them. <laughs> That's true. I feel like I could be in a Rivals band with Daniel. Sick burn, ladies and gentlemen. Sick burn. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. All right, so okay. this is like a dog crew versus cat crew kind of thing. All right. Yeah. Let's... Why don't we close this out and see the, uh, the final cutscene here? First, we see this for the show results. That's a, that's a <laughs> cool. Terry likes it. Yeah, <laughs> kind of spoiling something here. Despite an underwhelming turnout, the Bud F. Boncazoid show garnered the band tremendous word of mouth. All of a sudden, there was so much buzz. Yeah, it was crazy how much people were really talking about that show. Cause yeah, there was like only one really weird guy there. No exaggeration, greatest show in the entire history of music. The crowd unanimously agreed that the drummer absolutely crushed it. It was like... But it remained to be seen whether the band could keep up their momentous momentum. Well, it's uh, so I've been saying momentous momentum in like like casual conversation for the last like six weeks. It's like entered my actual like home lexicon. It's weird. Yeah, I love all of these cutscenes though. Like I don't know, the cool Terry is a guy that works with us, and it's just always so funny. What? Cool Terry actually works what? with us. Um, yeah. Did I spoil something? Maybe I spoiled something. That's fine. Yeah. Terry Terman. Cool. Oh, yeah. No, it's Terry Terman. Yeah. He anyway. added the cool right around high school. Yeah. So this is the end of what we're going to show uh, for today, unfortunately.